Hello everyone, this is the Super Wig Maker. This is a video review of a wig by uniwigs.com. Um, I'm gonna go in details about this, but before I do that, I wanna tell you that I'm not getting paid to do that, which means that I get a free wig and then I make an honest review as if I was a customer, as if I paid for this one. So nobody is paying me to say my opinion on that. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion, what I like or what I don't like. And this is another wig from uniwigs.com. So the wig that I got is called Curry Synthetic Wig. It's from La Vivid. So you go to uniwigs.com and then you click on this little link over here. It comes in three different colors, sorry, five colors. Almond Frost, which is this uh, blonde one with dark roots. The light brown, which is just another, uh, you know, ash brown. The Shadow Chestnut, the one that I got, which is a reddish brown, with copper reddish with high, blonde highlights. This is the Macadamia, which is a platinum with uh, brown roots. I can't see it very well over here. And then we have the Chocolate Caramel, which is a, a golden blonde with blonde highlights and a, the fringe is uh, lighter, which reminds me a little bit of this 90s look. Well, anyway, I got the Shadow Chestnut, which is the reddish one. And let's go back to the video to show you the wig. So back to the video itself. It comes in this box. It comes with a cap, which is always good to have. It's wrapped in this net. It's this weird thing. Let me see what else do I have. This is humidity um, balls. Oops. And this is an other uh, wig brush, synthetic brush. I have like a couple of these over here, like this one as well. And I have three more anyway. So let's go to the wig itself. All right. I have to open this. All right, there's a tag over here. Moving the tag. It had a couple of information in here: drying, conditioner, washing, styling, and stuff. All right. And on to the wig. Let me just put it inside out first, and let me wear it on this mannequin head because I think it's pretty small. So you can see that the construction is open cap in the bag with uh, elastic straps. It has the neck thing to have, um, to, to make it more rigid. Mod acrylic fiber made in Japan. La Vivid Collection Uniwix design in USA made in China. Color Shadow Chestnut 7R. It has the adjustable straps over here. They're not so, it's not like an adjustable strap. It's like a fastening uh, thing, but it's not the one that can keep good tension, like look at that. If you have it, have it like this, it can just go backwards. Which is not a bad thing. Ear tabs, they have this little thing over here that you can bend. And there's absolutely no lace. You can see that the webs here are so close to each other. Like, I, you can't even count them. And yeah, this is the inside. This is one size. And then on the outside, you can see that the top, you can you can barely see anything because each weft is put so close to each other that you practically see nothing, all right? Even if you wanted to. And also the roots are crimped. And it seems to have a lot of... The, the wefts are so thin, like they have very little hair. And this is why they can put so much weft without putting too much hair. I mean... If you see on top here, this is the amount of hair you have. It's not that much, but you can't really see anything. And this is the key to make these wigs like that. In the back, uh, in order to see something, you really need to force a parting because the wefts here are also put very densely. I, you can see it over here how dense they are. About half a centimeter apart, so it's pretty dense. And that's because the wefts are pretty uh, thin and they don't have too much hair on them. And now let me just talk about the color before I show you on the wig. The color itself, I don't know, the color shadow chestnut. 
to me it looks like a beautiful blend between let me just brush this a little bit a beautiful blend between um, a, a red a copper red and ash brown the variations in the color make it look so realistic in my opinion the shine is medium to to shiny so i don't know if this would look very realistic in person but it this would look perfect for photo shoots and probably for videos because you know the camera never picks everything up other than that i see that the hair doesn't tangle it's synthetic hair mod acrylic fibers and these are the ones that don't take very good heating now I'm, i've been brushing it and i just lost one strand yeah i have a couple more like one or two but this is very reasonable yeah the, the rest ones are just hair that they were all already on the brush i forgot to clean it up but you're not supposed to brush it with this you're supposed to brush it with that so let me see i have no fibers here yet let me just clean this up before i make any tests here i have one two strands but you know i'm just brushing it really really intensely in order to you know to see how much it can take just one strand and this is one is not it didn't shed it actually snapped so don't brush it like that uh, so shedding wise this is pretty nice it doesn't shed hair you can expect some shedding of course it doesn't mean that your wig will not shed a single strand but if you take good care of it it wouldn't shed um, the construction, as you can see, is pretty nice, and I think that you can also just change the parting. This is a side parting. Let me just wear it on my mannequin head to have a visual of how it looks. Alright, so it's a side parting, as you can see. I'm gonna show you normal uh, shots. Not like that, like normal. It looks pretty beautiful. The hairstyle has a long fringe. Then it has a lot of layers, a lot of layers, and then the tail is really low. You can see how beautiful that looks, and it has a, a slight bend. You can you can change the the curl pattern with um, hot water or steam, but they say don't use any heat tools. Of course, if you use heat tools on very low settings like 80 degrees Celsius, it shouldn't bur uh, burn or something. So these wigs don't have a, a specific parting. They are pre-parted, obviously, but you can always change the part. I think so. It wouldn't look too natural, but you know, I think that side parting always looks a little better on wigs like this. And you can also have a messy parting. Don't, you don't want to just uh, do it very strictly. You can change the parting. Let me just find the normal parting they had. The crown looks pretty nice and okay. The amount of hair that you have on this wig is not too much, but it's full enough. This is the amount of hair. As you can see, it's not too much. It looks and feels like something a healthy head of hair would have. And if you wanna have like a high ponytail, I wouldn't recommend that, but let's just see exactly how that looks. Um, yeah, it's the typical uh, non-lace wig. You would possibly be able to see those things unless you have identical hair to that and you just have your own leave out. Or unless you alter this in order to have a little bit of hair falling down like so or try to hide it with with this specific hair and bobby pins and stuff like that other than that i think that you could possibly get away with wearing it up as long as you make sure that you hide the bottom like this am i in frame mode oh yeah i'm on frame so if you are um 
like making a messy band like this and have hair like that falling and here as well you can have it leave a little bit of hair in the front just to make sure that no one's gonna see the front like that and you can see that you can really wear this wig in many hairstyles don't force a specific parting have the parting a little messy and fluff it up like that you want the hair to be fluffy shake it and this is one of the wigs that is just uh, shake wear and go so i'm gonna put some uh, normal shots of the of the wig being standing normally uh, so you can see it exactly in action and i'm probably gonna take a couple of photos and i'm gonna give you my final uh, opinion and my final results on this unit so i'm taking this outside this is the wall of my house and I want you to see the color in bright, color, uh, bright sunlight. It's November 16th and this is how sunny it is in my country. Forgive the noise. So my final thoughts on the wig is that it it is a wig without a lace. It's as realistic as this kind of wig could possibly be. It looks beautiful, all right? It has a beautiful haircut. It has beautiful layers. Uh, the, the cap is pretty petite. Like I couldn't even put it on the crown of my head and I have like a really huge head. So take notice for that. Uh, the color is... Um, it's a no, it's it's a color that's usually dyed hair. It's not a natural color, but it looks realistic because it has those low lights and highlights. It's something that you would dye your hair like, so it pretty much looks like something that you would do to your hair. Overall, I think it's good. Uh, it's hundred and fifty eight dollars. I think it's a little expensive for a wig that has no lace and no, you know, it's you can't really expose the hairline. But that's my opinion. Uh, other than that, I think that the, the wig looks pretty good. If the if the price was like a like sixty or seventy bucks, I would say that this wig would be very good for someone that wants to uh, toss it on, take a photo shoot, or go out and be okay with it. So yeah, I hope you liked the review. Um, thanks for watching. Ask me anything you want. I'm gonna put the description down there, and you can ask me anything you want, or you can ask these people directly in the side about this wig or any other wig.